Медикаменты все есть. Для нашего форпоста. И сухие, и э, чаек. Это то, что вам Безрассудные родители, которые считают, что делают хорошо своим детям. Ко мне взрослые обращаются за помощью после двух дней таких путешествий и просят, чтобы их потом спасли и вернули в Одессу. Один чуть ноги не потерял. Лично мой знакомый, отец знакомого. А здесь еще зима. Масло еще там осталось этот. Муку. И пайков тоже можно накидать. В принципе, в принципе там уже у нас. Все, и они будут приходить к вам здесь, и да. вы будете уже распределять. А новый списочек вы мне скинете по да. медикаментам и да. всем остальным. Сюда. Вы подумайтесь, если что, заберете. Да, и это... других. Что случилось с этой погодой? Это, это просто... Это, это сюр... сюрреализм. Hello everyone, a uh, little update as for today, 12th day of resistance against Russian aggression. Today is the 8th March. Uh, as I mentioned uh, last video, uh, basically we have volunteers, some other organization, population, you. You have helped to cover us the humanitarian zone in you in, in Odessa in particular helping our military personnel and uh, the territorial defense uh, who took weapon uh, to be supplied with necessities like food uh, some other means clothes even some equipment which I was mentioning in the last video however the situation especially humanitarian remains really um, in, a, in a low state outside of this outside the city and that's exactly where I received the signals for, for, for assistance from from families with disabled kids from uh, from old people and stuff like that who basically stranded in their homes with no money with no food, with, with uh, shops closed and shelves are empty. And it is our mission right now to cover them and to assist them. In the city to help is much easier obviously, but right now all the logistics are disrupted. As you know, we are constantly under bombardment by Russian freaks who, who claims they they bombard only military objects. Yeah, right. Tell us to all those refugees you can see on the video. And um, and obviously that created panic, disruptions, and food supply and stuff like that. And people in need of medicine, of food, of all the necessities, uh, they screaming for help. And once again, thank you for your support. Every single dollar is counted. And uh, we are much more flexible, obviously, than 
the centralized government who's receiving centralized uh, assistance from uh, monetary fund from uh, euro banks uh, and some others but they just cannot efficiently and quickly enough distribute all those resources on places that's why we need every everyone to help us so um, yeah in the video you can see pretty much what we were doing today for instance helping some families outside Odessa directly who cannot who do not possess the means of even basic travel as you know there is no transportation anymore and uh, also we found some depot in nearest city builder Dostrovsk and uh, we gonna stash the supplies there and uh, try to establish a base people can come there and take what they need or can be delivered from that base so we're gonna fulfill it with more products if the situation going outside Odessa in terms of security permits us as you can see there's everywhere the blocks which we were helping as well uh, and um, yeah so this is basically our uh, the realization of the plan B which I mentioned play A defense play B is a humanitarian mission not to let people die and suffer once again thank you for your help once again Western Union is operating online for us even though banks do not work we can receive your assistance so if you can not only watch TV but also you need you want to participate and save some uh, participate in this fight against against the evil because I cannot call it any other other words because it's pure evil bombarding people not military objects even uh, and save some lives you can do it uh, thank you for your help please spread and glory to Ukraine